all right so good day now for today's demonstration i'll be showing you how to create an erd using lucid chart all right so the focus is more on creating the entity relationship diagram but i think it's also good to showcase a very nice online tool this is not an ad all right but it's a very nice online tool if you want to create your charts and in particular for our demonstration or ERD all right so as I said we will be using lucid chart and you can just go to their website all right I'll show you how to do that in a minute as well so go to their website sign in and then just start creating your charts so for our first exercise that I'll be doing the demonstration on is that we're going to create an ERD for the following. All right. So the question says, construct an ER diagram for a car insurance company whose customers own one or more cars each. Each car has associated with it zero to any amount of recorded accidents. So that's the first one that we're going to be doing. All right, so write this question off if you have to. Um, you can always, you know, replay the video, write off the question, and at least it will make things better. When I'm creating the chart, you can follow along. All right, so I'll just navigate to my browser. All right, I'm going to type in Lucid Chart. All right, click on the link, lucidchart.com, click on the link, login. Now, login is made easy by logging in with your Google account, your Office 365 account, or even your Yahoo account. All right, so I'm going to log in with my Google account. All right, this one in particular. So I would have created, all right, let me just say no thanks for now. I would have created one chart already, all right? Now I want to create a new chart. So I'm going to click on new. I want a lucid chart document. All right. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely on a free account. I am consider paying for it, you know, because I think it's um, a very useful tool. But I'll just continue free for now. All right, now these are all your charting symbols. So they can be found under shapes to your left. All right, now if I scroll down, all right, no, I'm not seeing the specific ER diagram symbols that I'm looking for. So what I'll do is I'll click on the shapes. So the to go to more shapes, I just click on the shapes button down here. All right, now you can do a lot of things with it. Now you should see entity relationship right here. So just click on that and then select use selected shapes. All right, now I prefer to create my ER diagram with these shapes. It gives it more of the physical model um, type of construction. So I can just put my entities and my attributes. Or if I want to state the entity attributes and my primary key, I can do that, right? We can also state the entity, the attributes, our keys, and also our data values. Now, the one that I'll be going with is this particular one right here. So I'll just drag that across so I can list the entity, the field, and their type. All right. So I'm going to make this my primary key. All right. So going back to the question, let me read the question again. It says that construct an ER diagram for a car insurance company whose customers own one or more cars each. Each car has associated with it zero to 
any number of recorded accidents all right so let me just go ahead and identify all my entities my first entity naturally would be customer so i'm going to type customer here all right and then i'm going to as a matter of fact um i know nothing is wrong with this particular one but let me just um get rid of that one and drag this one over and you'll see the difference all right so for this one it says key and field all right so let me change my entity to customer all right now what are some of the fields or attributes a customer entity would have um i am assuming they would have a driver's license or a driver id all right our customer id i guess we can use let's just use customer id all right we would also assume that they would have a name all right and then let's just give them an address as well all right and out of all these attributes, the most unique attribute here would be the customer ID. So let's make customer ID our primary key. And then we can go ahead and get rid of these. All right, so we can just double click on these and delete out those. All right, so we don't need those. So that's our first entity. All right, now based on the question, we will assume or we can safely assume that our second entity would be car, right? Or car would be the second entity. All right, so I can just drag over. And in dragging over, it will ask me which one of these I want to use to make that relationship. All right, so I'm going with this one right here. All right, so this is now my car entity. All right. Now, what type of data we might store on a car? Um, maybe some license information. All right. And then maybe the model of the car. And then our, well, we can list it here as well for the car. All right. Now, naturally, the best bet for our primary key would be the car's license number or I guess registration number for some persons. All right, so let's make this our primary key. And then as I said, we can just double click and delete out these other entries. All right. All right, so as simple as that. All right, so the next thing that we would want to know is our accident entity because again to read the question it says that customers own one or more cars each each car as associated with it zero to any number of recorded accidents or accidents all right so our next entity would be accident all right all right now what are some of the data used for an accident we could list a report number so if we give it a report number we could give it well the location where the accident took place and then the date of the accident, all right? So naturally the report number would form the best primary key. Um, so we can just delete out these. All right, now something is that we need to consider is the cardinality. Currently, this is saying to us that one customer 
all right, to many car or cars. Now, our question said that customers own one or more cars each. So we need to change this to a one or more situation, right? Or one or many. So we just mosey on up to the top right here where it says endpoint. So there's a left endpoint and a right endpoint. Right, so we want to change this endpoint to one or more. All right. Now, for the cardinality of the relationship between accident and car, it says that each car has associated with it zero to any number of recorded accidents. All right, so one car. And then this is this should be optional zero or more accidents. Again, we'll change our endpoint to zero or more. All right. And by now, if we're at this stage in terms of creating the ER diagram, we should be familiar with the different cardinality um, symbols, especially if you're using the crow's feet, which is what I am using which for me is probably one of my more preferred style of, of demonstrating um, cardinality. Now, I can put the relationship between the customer and the car, car and the accident, on the line that linked us right here. So I'll just double click on this line, all right? And customer owns car, all right? And then for car and accident, we could basically say that the car is involved or associated with, all right? So car is associated with, all right? So associated with an accident. And basically, this is our ER diagram. No. Let's say you want to add this to your assignment or you got an assignment and you want to extract this. What you can do is simply just use Microsoft Snip tool and snip this or Lucidchart provides us with an option as well where we can go to File, Publish. You can give this a name. Let's call it uh, Exercise one so let me call it e sorry erd exercise one all right sorry name no in publishing we can do a few things you can get a single page pdf or image file or you can get the selected area for simplest reasons right now i'm just going to click single page PDF or image, all right? If I want it as a JPEG, I just select JPEG. If I want it as PNG, select PNG. And naturally, if I want it as PDF, I just select PDF. I'm going to go with a JPEG, and I'm going to select JPEG. Click on Publish Page. It gives us a link right here. Now, if I click on this link, it will open my newly constructed ER diagram, all right? And you can simply download it or, I mean, copy your image from here and paste it in your assignment, all right? All right, so just click on done. So this is basically how we go about creating our ER diagram in Lucid chart. Now, there's another cool feature that I like, all right? You can actually export this chart information. And when you export it, it basically exports the SQL for creating the different tables, all right? So we can create, we can export it as MySQL, Postgres, SQL, um, SQL Server or Oracle. All right, so if you're using SQL Server, just click on that. 
all right here's your sql statements to create the tables you can click on copy all right and all right so i like that feature another cool feature is that you can import your already created database into lucid chart and it will construct the ERD for you all right now for this you'll have to have a paid account or at least unless or you are using the trial version all right but as i say i like that feature but the main point again is just how to create your ERD and it is very easy very simple all you need to do when creating your ERD is state the entities identify all attributes identify what the relationships are and as well as the cardinality for those relationships all right so hopefully you would have learned something from this particular exercise all right so until next time i will see you and keep charting